Hello, hello. Welcome back for lessons three slash four of math. I hope um, angles and lines have been treating you well on CERN and um, in our little lesson from the other day, but I know that we still have a lot of questions, which is totally fine. This is going to be brand new, so we have questions and things are new and that's okay. But please ask them, find a way to contact me and ask your questions. Don't just sit there doing whatever you think is right, but not being sure. Um, you can always rewatch our videos. You can Google it. You can have your family call me, message me, whatever, but ask your questions, okay? All right, so we are going to um, continue practicing stuff with lines and angles but we're going to introduce some new words today. So if you could see, i uh, move over. Behind me, we have our new lesson. <laughs> Let me just get in a good spot here so you can see. All right, it says, I can draw and identify perpendicular and parallel lines. So we have perpendicular and we have parallel. And I have two pictures right here to represent that. This side says perpendicular, this side says parallel. Um, I'm going to define them for you using the matching colors. So this one's in pink, this one's in green. So a perpendicular line. If you look at the picture, you can see, what do you notice? If we were in person, I would make people call, raise their hand, or talk to somebody next to you. So take a moment to think to yourself, what do you notice about this picture? How could you describe these lines? If I'm telling you that they are called perpendicular, what do you notice about them? Think. I know you're gonna keep watching anyways, but it's okay to think too. If you thought to yourself, well, I see that there's two lines, one that goes this way and one that goes this way, and I notice that they cross then you're right. That is what a perpendicular line is. They are two lines that intersect to make four right angles. Cross and intersect mean the same thing. I wrote it really small down here, but it says intersect equals cross. If your lines are crossing, that's that means that they are intersecting. Um, the qualifier here is that they're making four right angles. So when your lines cross, they have to make perfect 90 degree corners to be considered a right angle. Um, if it doesn't make a perfect corner like that, it's not a perpendicular line. It's just an intersecting line. So if we had lines that looked like this, these ones, I'm hoping I did it pretty well. Um, they cross and they make a right angle. So this is perpendicular. But if we had two lines that went like this, this would not be perpendicular. This is not perpendicular because right here we have an obtuse angle and over here we have a Q. So if when you go like this and you have an obtuse and an acute, those are not going to be perpendicular lines. They cross, they intersect, but they do not make right angles. They have to create those right angles, those perfect boxes, nice and crisp, 90 degrees, for it to count as a perpendicular line, okay? So those are perpendicular. Now let's talk about parallel. Same thing. I want you to think to yourself for a minute. Look at these lines. What do you notice? How would you describe them? 
what would be the difference if these ones are perpendicular and these ones are parallel? How could you describe a parallel line? Lines. If you said something along the lines of two lines that never cross, you're correct. So parallel lines are two lines that are an equal distance away from each other and will never intersect. So let's think about it. They need to be an equal space away from each other, the entire strip down. If we extended these lines forever and ever and ever and ever and extended this one forever and ever and ever and ever, they should never run into each other. So this would be great. Those are parallel lines, just like this. If it went like this and this like this, equal spaces away the whole time, and you extended them out forever and ever and ever, they will not ever touch. But if this one went like this, and this one went like this, you might look at it and say, Miss, they're not intersecting. What are you talking about? I would turn around and say, you're right, they don't intersect right now, but the arrows at the end of our line show us that they go on forever, ever. So would they never intersect? If you extended this line out, and you extended this line out, would they eventually cross? If your answer is yes, then they are not parallel lines. They're just lines that are near each other. Parallel lines, if you extend them out forever and ever and ever, they will always be an equal distance away from each other and they will never touch. So perpendicular lines cross to make right angles, intersect to make right angles. Parallel lines are equal distance apart the entire way and will never cross. Okay, pretty, pretty simple stuff right there. Um, let's go on over here and talk about some things that were on your assignment from yesterday. If you haven't done it yet, that's okay, but it is due on Friday. So you have two more days to do it. You have today and you have tomorrow. Wait, what's today? Yeah, today's Wednesday. Um, there, for the people who have done it so far, I noticed that there were some questions about um, the one that was like a grid and it had one line and you had to like connect the other line to make an angle. So it was like this. There was like a grid. And then there was like one line here. You could see that there was another one at the top. This one at the top, you can just drag. If you click down and drag it, you can drag it to touch. And then once it's touching, you can um, reposition it to make whatever it's asking. So you have to make a right angle, obtuse, and acute. So if it said make an acute angle, I would click, I would drag, and then I would reposition it so that it's touching to make a right, um, whatever it's asking for. This is acute. Okay. Um, on today's assignment, there is going to be a part that asks you to um, name some angles. And I'm noticing that this is really hard to read with the lighting, so I'm going to pause this, move around, and um, make it so it's easier to see. Uno momento. Okay, that's a little bit better. I just changed the green to be black, so now hopefully you can see it. Okay, so we need to practice naming angles and lines. Um, 
I briefly went over it yesterday on the whiteboard, but I don't think I was clear enough for you to be able to do it on your own yet. So we're going to do a little bit more with it. So if you see a symbol like this, which is just part of a line with one arrow at the end, what does that remind you of? Our choices are a point, a line, a line segment, or a ray. Which of those four vocabulary words is a straight line with one end point that goes on forever in one direction? If you wonder what I keep looking at, I'm looking at our anchor charts from yesterday. So which of those is a straight line with one end point that goes on forever in one direction? If you said array, you are correct. So this symbol here is representing a ray, okay? Because it's showing that there's an end point, but it goes on forever in one direction. The next one, has arrows on both sides. So what of those words, those vocabulary words, is something that goes on forever in both directions? We're down to a point, line segment, and line. This will be a line. This one looks like when we are comparing things with our greater than, less than, and equal to stuff, but with our new unit, this is going to represent an angle. And an angle is actually two rays coming together and meeting. Where these two rays come together and meet, for example, we have a, a ray like this, and we have a ray like this. Where they come together and meet, that's called the vertex. So the vertex is where the lines touch. So wherever the two lines come together and intersect, that's going to be called our vertex. So on the vocabulary from yesterday, um, that word angle was defined as <clears throat> two rays that come together and share one end point. Okay? This one doesn't have arrows on either side. So this one is going to be a line segment because line segments are straight lines that have two endpoints. They don't go on forever in either direction. They start and they stop. These two are gonna be our new ones for today. So if you think about the two words that we introduced, we introduced perpendicular and we introduced parallel. A perpendicular line is two lines that intersect to make right angles. And parallel lines are lines that are equal distance away from each other and never intersect. So if we look at these two symbols, which one do you think would be perpendicular and which one do you think would be parallel? If you said this one's perpendicular, you are correct. This will represent perpendicular lines. This one will represent parallel lines because you can see they come together to make a right angle and you can see these ones never touch. So what we're going to do is using these symbols now we're going to come up with an example based on this picture I drew down here. This is going to be very important for you to pay attention and practice because when you go on to do this for your assignment today you're going to have to um, you're going to have to name some angles and lines, okay? All right, so we want to identify a ray from this down here. I'm going to use red because I used red here. So if we're going to look at this, we want to find a ray. A ray is a straight line with one end point and goes on forever in the other direction. Which of these show us that? So we need one endpoint and to go on forever in the other direction. So here I see this line goes on forever in both directions. So that is not going to work. This one I see starts and stops. So also not going to work because that doesn't go on forever and ever in one direction. This goes on in two directions. This doesn't go on at all. 
So that leaves us here. We have one endpoint and one arrow. That would make this array. When you are naming lines, you always need to have two letters. You're going to have one from both ends. So we can't just call this ray E. We would need to call it ray D E because we want to say where it starts and then where it goes on forever too. So if we're going to do this, we put the symbol on top. <laughs> Sorry, you can't write this angle. Put the symbol on top and put the letters underneath. So that's going to become ray D E. Okay? Moving on to a line. Lines go on forever in both directions. So where it looks like this, I want to find something that looks like that. We just talked about it, so I'm not going to pretend like I don't know. It's right here. Here's my arrow. Here's my arrow. It goes on forever in both directions. We only need two letters for lines, so I'm not going to include this random C in the middle. The line is just where it starts on one end and where it goes on the other end. So I know lines go on forever, but there's still going to be points on those lines so that we can name them. So this is going to be called line A, B. Okay, now we have an angle. An angle is a, dip, is a little bit different because angles have to have three letters. It has to have where it starts, where it touches, and where it goes to again. So we have the two areas here and then where they come to. We are going to name them in order of one end to where they touch to the other end. We're not going to do the two ends and then where they touch. You have to do them in order from one end to where they touch to the other end. So if we look at here, there's um, a couple different angles we have. There's angles here, there's an angle here, there's an angle here. I'm going to use this one just because I want to. But this is a right angle, this is a right angle, and this is an acute angle. So I'm going to say angle, and then where it starts, where it touches, where it goes to. Angle, and that symbol goes on the side, doesn't go above, goes to the side. So it's angle C, D, E. Make sense? All right. Now we have line segment, which I have to use green. My line segment has a starting point and an ending point, no arrows. So if we look at our diagram, we want to find the two dots that are connected. This has arrows. This has an arrow. So it's going to have to be this one here. So we're going to put a straight line on top with no arrows, one end to the other. So it's called C. D. I know you can't see that very well, but I put line C, D. Line segment C, D. Okay, now we have our new vocabulary. We have perpendicular. Perpendicular are where two lines come together to make right angles. They could cross all the way, they could come partially, they could come on the side, but either way, where they, where they come together, you need to make a right angle. So if we look at this, there are some right angles right here. So this is going to be where we need to lay, name two sets of lines. So what we do is we put one set of lines. So we have line A, B is perpendicular to, so that symbol is going in the middle. It's that symbol, if you read it, you read it by saying, is perpendicular to. That looks crooked. So we have line AB is perpendicular to line CD. Because this line and this line intersect to make right angles. So if we're going to do that with our parallel lines, we're going to have to do the same thing. We're going to have two sets of lines on both sides. So if we look, oh, I don't have any parallel lines here. Let's try that again. I'll add a line right now. Ready? Let's go ahead and put a line through this end point here. Okay. 
and then I'll call it F G. Okay, so now we can see that this line up here and this line down here could go on forever and ever and ever, and they will never intersect. That would make them parallel. I know I did it a little bit crooked over here. My angle isn't the best, but let's just pretend that's completely straight. So we would say line AB is parallel to line FG. Okay, so you're going to have practice with that um, on your assignment today. I'll see if you get it or if you don't, and if you make some mistakes, what I'll do is I'll give you feedback and I'll return the assignment so you can see my comments and try to fix your mistakes and see if you can understand it a little bit better. You should watch this video while you do your assignment though, um, or if you took notes while you watched me today, then you'll be good to go, but don't just guess. Go back and check your work. You can use these resources to help you. Don't just drag and drop things thinking that you know it all already because that's not how we learn. It takes time. So if you just watch this once and think you can go complete the assignment and get a 100, it's okay, but you're not going to. So please take notes, rewatch this. It, you don't watch something once and all of a sudden have it memorized, okay? All right, good luck. Bye.